Hi pandas, it's Miss Prantle. I have another story for you. This one is Ogilvy by Deborah Underwood. And it is illustrated by T.L. Macbeth. Now, if you listen close, you can hear some rhyming words. Ogilvy happily hopped up and down the very first day in a very new town. I'll zip to the park that I found down the street. What do they play there? Whom might I meet? Bunnies were drawing and knitting and climbing. A ball game was starting. What wonderful timing. A great big grin spread across Ogilvy, Ogilvy's face. I love all those things. What a marvelous place. Ogilvy entered. But why all this staring? A bunny bounced over. What is that you're wearing? Ogilvy paused and looked down at the clothes. I'm wearing the thing that I wear, I suppose. But is it a sweater or is it a dress? It matters, said Ogilvy. Goodness, oh yes. Were bunnies in dresses, play ball and knit socks, and bunnies in sweaters make art and climb rocks. Ogilvy boggled. Excuse me, but why? That's just how it is, was the bunny's reply. If this is a sweater, I can't throw a ball? The bunny said, no, that would not do at all. But ball was what Ogilvy wanted to play. Then I guess it's a dress? Well, at least for today. Outfielder Ogilvy hit a home run and waved to new friends when the ball game was done. The next morning, Ogilvy, wanting to draw, sat in the park with a pin in a paw. But bunnies in dresses don't draw. You know better. So Ogilvy answered, then this is a sweater. The next morning, Ogilvy wanted to knit. I'll say it's a dress, so they don't won't have a fit. The next morning, Ogilvy wanted to climb, so and so announced from the rocks, it's a sweater this time. What shall I play? Each day, Ogilvy chose, then decided which name would be best for the clothes. But some buddies fumed each time Ogilvy swapped. They grumbled, this. Ogilvy's got to be stopped. So one day, as Ogilvy drew on the ground, a big bunch of bunnies gather, all gathered around. Look here, said a bunny. Your garment keeps changing. We cannot have bunnies who keep rearranging. So it can be either, but please make the call. A sweater? A dress? Tell us once and for all. Now, Ogilvy, just like so many of us, was not fond of making a ruckus or fuss. But frustrated, Ogilvy made a hard choice, took a, de a big breath, and found a big voice. I like to do all these things. Why must I hide this? I do not see why I need to decide this. Don't some of you sweater buns want to knit socks? Don't some of you dress wearers yearn to climb rocks? Why are you all so absurdly obsessed? Why do you care so much how we're dressed? I'm tired of all the questions and staring. I'm wearing an Ogilvy. That's what I'm wearing. The bunnies fell silent and halted the fight. For could it be Ogilvy Bunny was right? It really is silly for clothes to divide us. Let's all do, let's do all the things that till now were denied us. So bunnies in sweaters played any old game, and bunnies in dresses 
precisely the same. Things they were wearing, the things they were wearing caused no interference, and even some Ogilvies made an appearance. One day, a new bunny bounced by the brook. The bunnies all crowded in around for a look at the curious thing on the new bunny's head. The bunnies all paused and then, welcome, they said. The end. Did you guys hear any rhyming words? That was pretty silly of them to decide what they could do based on their clothes. Have a nice day. Bye pandas.